can we do phd after undergraduate program is it really possible to do that what are the myths and realities behind this particular uh, policy let's see in this video can you do the can you do a phd after a ug undergraduate program what are the norms and regulations what are the universities are, are offering uh, these kind of phd and what are the other in probably pros and cons of this particular uh, policy let us see everything in this video by the way if you are a first time to my channel i am i'm dr i am professor ashwakar if you want to get lot of research related videos do not forget to subscribe my channel so that when i post my next video you get immediate notification by the way already i have posted 300 plus videos regarding research you can go and check it out let's come to the uh, main agenda see can we do a phd after under, undergraduate program yes it is possible based on the nep national education policy 2020 they have revised the norms that the universities can allow al accommodate undergraduate students after their undergraduate degree completion but there is a uh, very important thing is there you can not all undergraduate students can do phd after this particular program undergraduate program which spans for 4 years undergraduate programs which span for 4 years only can is eligible for example bba honors ba honors bcom honors and integrated bsc these kind of four year program only eligible number one first of all you should know the eligibility criteria that's what four year undergraduate program 75% minimum mark or 7.5 cgpa in your undergraduate uh, uh, mark third one you should have qualified national eligibility test or equivalent of that exam only if you fulfill all these three criteria then you become eligible to apply for a phd direct phd and what are the universities offering uh, uh, this kind of phd see if you take for instance in tamil nadu still the universities have not opened the door for uh, uh, direct phd after the undergraduate program still they follow 12 plus 3 plus 2 plus uh, 5 that is 12 year regular school education plus 3 year undergraduate plus 2 year pg after that only you are eligible so some universities are offering and if you take especially deemed universities they are offering phd after direct ug but please understand that that ug should be a four year ug program for instance if you take engineering students it's it's very easy because any undergraduate engineering program is four year so obviously they'll become eligible to apply a direct phd so is it really worth doing phd after the ug is it good see if you ask me there are positive there are negative first of all let me tell you the positive thing yeah once you complete for example if you take engineering stream after they complete four year btech uh, degree then they have to again do a two year mtech program then to become eligible to uh, enroll for a phd for them it's a big bonanza they don't need to do it, to spend a two year time they need to spend a, uh, no need to spend extra money directly they can enroll into the direct phd it's a really very good advantage for them whereas if you take art students most of the arts courses are three year degree programs only very rare some uh, uh, deemed universities they offer a uh, four year honors program they only become eligible but all other programs they become ineligible so they cannot apply second important thing they need to have a minimum 75% mark even if they get 74 percentage they become ineligible uh, 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 top of this they must qualify national eligibility test or equivalent to that particular test state, uh, state eligibility test then only they'll become eligible so this is the basic information but what are the advantage that what you you have a, you can uh, save the time and you can save money and you can apply but it is not applicable to everybody but what are the cons cons uh, negative uh, probably i would say that you you are a freshman you may not have a such a what do you call required knowledge required exposure to take up the uh, research pro project that may be the only minus but still uh, when when you go for a direct phd they will ask you to go for four years generally they will you will not be able to complete within three years so they will definitely orient you you will be able to complete phd but still you are a novice you don't have any idea means for instance if you are arts background student you have a three year three year degree mean better you do a phd then you can apply for a, a phd that's a very good advantage the reason is when you do a pg postgraduate program you do certain project in your pg 
that will help you to get certain ideas, certain exposure about the research project where, where you can continue the same research project when you go for a PhD. That's a great advantage. And if you come to the another one, so then why, why this policy is brought? See, the point is those who are very studious and they are very bright and they, they'll be able to manage, they can go for a direct PhD. And some, some, something you are just to know why, so you want to learn something. I would, in my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, I would advise, especially the art students, you better, you do with, uh, instead of going for a four-year UG program, you do a three-year PG program, do a two-year PG, then enroll for a PhD. And generally, what is the uh, procedure for such kind of PhD? Very simple. As I already told you that once you fulfill the uh, requirement criteria, you know, eligibility criteria of 75% in your UG, it should be a four-year UG program. You have cleared the net national eligibility test, then you become eligible. After that, you prepare the application. Then you must be ready with the, your research proposal. Which particular area are going to work? Identify certain research topics. Then I would advise you that probably if you have done some project in your UG, you can, uh, what you call, extend it. Otherwise, you can identify some three, four areas, read certain research papers, get some idea, prepare some tentative pro research proposal, you can submit it. So the second thing. Third thing, not every university directly accepts the PhD candidate. Most of the university, they have their own entrance examination. For example, if they call it as a common entrance examination or research entrance examination, if you take for VIT, Value of Technology, they conduct VITRI, VIT research entrance examination. You need to, even though you have a four-year program, 75% and you have clear net, you must write, you have to give your VITRI exam also. So in, similarly, different university will have a different norm. Ensure that you, after fulfilling the basic criteria, you apply for, in, in case they have the entrance exam, you have to appear that entrance exam also and you have to clear their entrance exam and after that they don't stop there also then they'll have a personal interview so after the entrance exam they'll have a personal interview normally the entrance how do they uh, set the criteria for the selection they'll have a certain weightage for your uh, ug mark pg mark in case if it is a direct PhD, you'll have a weightage as usual 70 percent mark and if you have any research publication those things also will have a mark and entrance score that may be a 50 percent then interview that may be a 50 percent so it will vary but each every university they will clearly demarcate their selection procedure in their website you can go and check it up accordingly you can prepare so if you are ready to do a PhD after your undergraduate program please kindly ensure that whatever i have told you have you have ful you fulfilled the criteria in case you don't fulfill don't worry just to give to, to go for a pg and then do well that in that pg then you can get into the PhD. then is it worth doing PhD program see generally in india if you take uh, majority of uh, PhD uh, holders they go for a teaching profession so if you if you have very passionate about teaching 100 percent you, you you should do a PhD. that's very it's mandatory for you it, it, it is very good and R and D, if you are you are very much interested in go to the R and D uh, R and D department of industry. Again, PhD is uh, for you. But you want to go for a normal job. You want to get into the software industry, or if you go to want to want to service industry where PhD is not mandatory, mean then you need to rethink whether you really it is necessary for you to do a PhD. Some people they say that they want to add a doctor in front of their name. That's what they want to do PhD. That's fine. But is it worth uh, doing for four years? Then you have to spend a lot of time energy money then you have to decide but if if it perfectly aligns with your passion and the profession you must do this thing in case if you have any other doubt regarding this PhD and other thing you can comment in the comment box i'll clarify it and later i will put another video I, i'll post the other videos about what are the way you can prepare for the interview and other thing until then i will I'll, till I meet you from the next video, I'll, I'll, I'll take a bye from you and watch the video and be aware about what are the procedure and do well and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.